Hello everybody, this is Kevin back with Inspiring How You See That. And today we're back again with Trace Up, the soccer reporting program. But what we're going to be doing today is we've had a number of different questions about many teams that are getting um, the Trace Up systems new and they're not familiar with uh, setting it up as the admin structure. Now there's several different steps for the admin and I'm going to kind of be covering that. So um, this is going to be a lengthy video. A little longer than usual we try to do them in short you know three to five minute segments but this will probably be a little bit longer for you um that are admins or uh under the admins of the team and you wanted to kind of know about the system and how to set it up how it works do i have to do certain you know do i have to add everybody there, there's a number of different questions so we're going to go down through those um first as the as you get the trace system um, for your club, I'm not sure, uh, dependent upon if it's a one team for your club or several teams that are going to be using this, I'm going to cover both options. So if you have a trace system for your club and your one team, um, so let's say if it was uh, like ours, that which is Blast, let's say if it was the 2010s um, that had the camera, there, of course, is the main admin that sets up all the camera systems and approves you. Um, if that's you, then, of course, you have to set up the, the other admins and put their names in, all their information, their emails and everything. So that way they can gain access to that. And then they would have to be part of the pro account and um, be able to be either uh, one of the ma managers on the account. And if it isn't set up as a manager, then they can't do a lot of the functions and a lot of the features. And we'll cover that here shortly. But if you're, again, as the admin for the main, you do have to set up your, your teams. Um, so you're in, you're in charge of all that. So you have to set up all the teams. As you see here, you can go in and um, I'm part of the manager, so I can go in and edit the teams and everything like that. Uh, but that's not something I want to do because the main admin uh, controls all that. Uh, I just kind of am the manager of the video process for our 2010s, uh, the RL uh, or the MPL team here. Um, but the there there's there's several different teams within Blast that uh, all the admins have control of the trace out camera system. So this is ours here, which is the Blast 2010 NPLs. Um, add it into that. So if you do want to add the teams and you're the main, main admin as far as that's in control of all the teams and have to, you know, put all that in there. Yes, you do have to add all that. Get your, get your admin for each team. Get them the emails. Then that admin is in charge of setting up the remaining information within the team. Um, and then as we go in here, um, all of these are going to be, uh, of course, uh, blurred out so you won't really see um, we still have several that are pending um, what that means is they haven't gone in and accepted it um, but you as a as a member you'll see the all the side here that say members um, you can't see the names over here but um, when they're a member um, which mine is down down here as part of it um, but as a member, you have access to setting up your team. So what I mean by that, so make sure that you do have, they, they have set you up as a member. Um, and this is where the invite is. You know, that's where that main admin would have to set you up. They'd have to invite you. You would go through, get your email, and then you would accept it. And once you accept it, then you can get in, you can log in and so on and so forth. Um, but as the we'll get into the trace and we'll switch over to that page and I'm going to show you about adding your players and things like that as the admin for your team. So if there's additional questions as far as like the admin, the main admin, let us know. I'll put it in different segments, but this is fairly easy to do. You can either do it on your phone or you can do it on a computer. I recommend on the computer because you can sit there, you can copy, you can paste, you can you take everything from your roster and put in there very, very easily. So I'll go into the next page and show you like the roster and the roster settings. Okay, so we are on our roster for Trace. So this is again, the Blast uh, FC 2010 NPL. 
and um, this is our team. So you can go in as the admin, you can go in and set up everybody. You can add the account, you can add your roster, you can add your game. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff here. So the staff, I will uh, you know scroll down through, and of course, again, it'll be blurred out uh, for privacy. Um, but you'll see that everybody has the staff. The um, the four over here have account for this this uh, for this one in particular. So they're all set up to go in and they're they're part of the videographer, which which is um, uh, myself and a few others. And then you have the coach and then they can go in, they can review and they can edit and they can change. You can watch the video films, all that. So if you wanted to go in and manage all your staff for this account, you just go in, click manage your staff. And again, it switches you back there and you can go in and you can change it and you can add. Um, so that is very easy. Now your roster, your team roster, one thing that you do want to keep in mind. Now, some of you will ask, well, I have 28 players. Maybe your team is huge. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you have a lot of players. Um, and on your roster, you have 28. You can only add 20 on trace. Now, what's nice is once you do add them, it will remember them. So if you go into a game and you have 18 players coming for that game, which is usually typical um, the requirements for like a, a tournament or what have you, um, that can be on that roster. So if you have 18 and those 18 play one week and then you have another tournament the next week and then maybe out of those 18 six are different you can go in you can delete them you can change them and as i scroll down through you'll see um the jersey numbers everything over here is going to be blurred out again but uh, let's assume that these are your players and your players names um so when they're all in there you can like if there's a player here let's say the players number 18 uh, number 18 isn't going to be there next time and you want to, you know, just go in and, uh, you know, you can go to remove the player. Um, you can change the jersey number if there's a different jersey number, so on and so forth. Now, the other questions that we've had, well, if my player doesn't want to be visually seen, not possible. Um, the only way that that's possible is to not, you know... If they don't want to be on here, you just don't add their email or their number, but Trace is still going to track that number. Their name may not be on there. So if you don't want their name um, on there, that's fine. You don't have to add their name, um, but their number is still going to be on there. They're still going to be on video. Um, and there's no way of getting around that. Maybe Trace will be adding some kind of feature if you want to blur out players or if there's a, I don't know, a uh, a family member just doesn't want their player visually seen online. Um, maybe they'll add that feature. Uh, I don't know. I can't answer that. Um, so, but right now you can add all your players up to 20 players. They may add or let you do start doing more or 24, but right now it's only 20. Uh, but we found that that's sufficient enough and it doesn't really you know, affect you anyway, because most of your names, once they're all in there, they do recognize them when you go to add a player. But I mean, it is a little bit time consuming in the beginning, but once you get it all in there, it's all in there. So that's a little bit about the trace system as far as the admin side and the main admin will do their job as far as getting all the regular admins below for each team. So it's kind of like a tree effect. You have to have your main admin and then they'll distributed it all out to all the other admins that are part of each team and then each team has their responsibility to add in all the players the information get all their emails and the reasoning why you're going to be doing that is because these emails notify you when the film is up um so it's very very helpful that's why they you know why this film is there uh so it it, it helps all your players and it helps uh, your team and it you know you can review the film kind of figure out what your team did right or wrong uh it, it, it's a it's a great training tool and it's a great tool for coaches and possible you know pro teams to look at and to see these players play so that's that's the basics on how you do all that and changing the jerseys adding everything as the admin main admin and the, the regular admin if you guys have questions please put it in the comments because we try to make videos that pertain to each one of your questions and make small little segments because 
this can get confusing and all if you're just tying it all into one it, it gets very confusing so we hope that helps and we'll see you on the next video